Well, hello and welcome to the Security Kitchen. My name's Ken and I'm going to be showing you something that we demonstrated at the InfoSec show this year in uh, 2014. And we're looking at some issues with the Tesco Huddle. It's a really cool device. It's only £120. You can buy it from Tesco very easily. Um, Entry-level Android hardware, but unfortunately with cheapness comes some problems with security. Now the Huddle itself uses the Rockchip CPU. Now I've got a picture of one up here. This is actually from uh, a TVB um, device. We've stripped that down. I didn't want to tear down my Huddle because it still works. Um, what we've got here, the Rockchip. Now there's a big flaw here, a big security flaw in that um, when you get the rock chip into what's called flash mode in order to upload new firmware to maybe unbrick a device or put some new firmware on there perhaps, there's a flaw. Now most um, flash modes you'd expect to be able to write to it, that's fine, you need to do that to put firmware onto it. The problem with the rock chip flash mode is that you can also read and that means from a locked device you can start reading memory. So here is my, um, my Tesco huddle. One I prepared earlier, no doubt. The first thing you need to know is how to get it into uh, flash mode. Um, there's a bit of an art to this, but you need to hold down the volume up key here, take a dibber, my trusty paper clip, hold down volume up, put the dibber into the uh, reset port there, hold it down for a couple of seconds, release the dibber, and then release the volume up key. Now, in order to get into flash mode, when you press the dibber down, when you release it, it's looking to see if the volume up key is being held down, and that gets it into flash mode. So anyway, um, a bunch of clever guys have, guys have done some cool stuff and they've written a tool which can actually connect you to the device. I'm just connected with a micro USB cable over, um, over the USB port into my Kali image here. Uh, a tool called the, uh, the RK Flash tool. Go and Google it. It's really easy to find. You can actually find it very straightforward. Uh, it's very straightforward on SourceForge. There you go. That's the SourceForge site. Very, very straightforward to put together. Um, back to my image. Anyway, so the Flash tool. There you go. So I'm now talking to memory. Now, the key from here is start of the user data partition. So that address there, that's where the interesting information is. So what I need to do next is now start to read from that. So I need to give it the address of the um, start of the user data partition. And I'm going just to prove the point, read the first thousand bytes. I'm gonna pipe them out to a, a temporary directory. It doesn't really matter uh, where you put it, but if you're gonna do this for real, you need to be aware it's going to take about two hours to download the entirety of this. There you go. I'm already reading it. So we'll dump that into an image file, and I've already mounted that, so I've got my scrape, I've got my memory, I've got it into an image file, and I wanna show you what information you can get back from it. So to, one of the easiest places to start is to um, go to the system directory, and let's have a look for, um, how's about password hashes, and there we go. There is um, the hashed pin from the huddle. Now that is um, hashed with MD5 and SHA-1, so you could crack it with Hashcat. Given that almost all pins on mobile devices are numbers, it's really not gonna take very long to get rid of that, is it? Um, but that's hashed, so there's some security. What about going for something that's just a little bit more interesting? So I'm gonna go into um, the, uh, let's see if I can find the Wi-Fi keys. So over here, um, we're gonna find the WA keys. There we go, WPA, we've got the SSID of the uh, AP it's associated with, and the pre-shared key is stored in plain text. I think that is terrible. Now, what can you do about this? Frankly, not a lot right now. Um, we need to see a change in the way that the rock chip does its um, flash mode. That's gonna take some time, because for me, that's probably down at the hardware layer. So at the moment, I do not think the Tesco huddle is really suitable to put any data of any sensitivity on. Um, putting passwords on there, into browsers, into anything is really asking for trouble. If it's stolen, pin locked or not, someone's gonna get your data off it. 